Hey, what is up everybody? It is Katir Gaming here today, bringing you all the build that there's been so many questions about. I'll give you all some gameplay before we go ahead and jump into the actual build. It is a Banshee setup, and well, here we go, you guys. Really? Nobody noticed. He's like a bomb man. Another one on left. Never mind. Push him hard. He's good there. Fresh bolts. One around the truck. I think it's time to go underground. I'm assuming that's a pure fire crystal. Yeah, I agree. I got no green. Zed. If you need blue, use it on. You are <laughs> lagging, dude. There's a third stack pulse. Another one down. <laughs> I picked him up. I don't want him to get let him do it. Yeah, I hear you. Another one down. Watch two to your right. Oh, what green. The to your right, make I it for I'm you. You are the green. This is. Got you, awesome. I was down here when I died. That was fucking good. Fresh pulse. Yo, push down, push down, push down. Go all the way down the hall to the left. Go left, come on. Up to the booster. I'm chucking nades right there. I'm chucking nades, I'm chucking nades. Okay. I got a medi. No, 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 no. Yo, pop that blue, pop that blue, please. Medi. Ah. Chuck nades, chuck nades, chuck nades. I think it's time to run down the room over here. Yeah. Before blue wears off. Oh, that come on. All the way down the hall before I turn. Run with us. That's fine. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Cross them. Two people. Turn and burn right here. Put the nades up. Oh shit. You can't heal. He's disrupted. I'm dead. Green. Thank you. Good on the hall to the left. Come here. The door. Keep going. Left jaw booster. Touch me. No. Are you with the I'm taking the shot. Defense. Turn and burn. Everyone throw a nade. Watch man hit firing while running. Shock nade. Shock nade. Go to the next hall. I got him. I got him with shock too. I threw the shock too. Pulse. Multiple down. Oh, I'm on oh, no, no, where did I get cooked from? Can't drop a bug. Keep pushing back, keep pushing back. Gotcha. There's a guy behind us, an AI. I'm gonna switch to Nomad. I'm getting oh, cooked shit. We got from behind. Yeah, I got him from the behind. Man. Where the hell is the guy behind? Oh, I'm I think so dead. Just run. He's a Nomad. <laughs> Fresh pulse. Fine. Yes. Yep, in the back. Oh, okay. Pulse. Behind you, oh, my chest. This guy hollow? Why isn't he shooting? <clears throat> I shouldn't have shot at him, he was leaving us alone, I guess. Police is coming behind you. Keep it. He went down the steps. Place get healed. Fresh pulse. He's blinding. I don't know, oh, but that yeah. was kind of- Oh, there's one down the steps, one down the steps. I think we should take it, yeah, we should take it now. Yeah, go ahead. Blue. Oh, I'm Dumbass. so dead. You're not dead, here's a medi. Come on. Thank you. Go all the way down. Keep coming, don't stop there. All the way, straight down over here. Okay, turn and burn. Defib. Pop that blue, please. Good. Thank you. Fresh pulse. Oh, 
Thank you for a cat. Thank you. I'm backing up. Check nades now. Check nades now. I'm popping tech. Pulse. No, I died. Fuck, I got sniped. <clears throat> Yo, nice. Why, did you clear them all? Dang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully I'll enjoy the gameplay for that. Let's go ahead and jump to the actual belt. Now, first things first, we do have a bullfrog with deadly responsive and uncomplicated. A custom M44 with deadly prepared and competent. We'll go ahead and jump into the actual weapon attachments later on. Let's go ahead and jump into the knee pads. We have Banshee Shadow knee pads, obviously classified with 1401 firearms, a 266 firearms mod that has 3000 health on it. And all four of the performance mods on here are going to be first aid self heal. All of them throughout this entire build. Please keep that in mind. So again, 1401 firearms on the knee pads with 9% critical hit damage. And then we have burn and shock resistance. Obviously go ahead and change blind to whatever your personal preference is. I didn't really get a choice with these knee pads. So it's what I have currently. Now for the Banshee's Mask, we have 1401 firearms with a stamina mod of only 264 with 3163 health on it. Then we have 4% critical hit chance, and I'd probably go with burn resistance as the minor attribute, but I don't really get a choice on this map. Now for the Vigorous Chest Piece, because I normally run this whenever there's a healer on the team, we have 1272 firearms with a 262 stamina mod with health on it, a another stamina mod 267 with 3000 health on it. Then we have 6% enemy armor damage, 16k health, and 56% ammo capacity. Jumping into the backpack, we have 1401 firearms, 9% critical hit damage, 17% burn resistance with a 260 stamina mod that also has 3286 health on it. We have, again, two of the first aid self-heal mods. For the gloves, we have 1401 firearm, 6% critical hit chance, 17% critical hit damage, and 12% assault rifle damage. For our holster, we have 1401 firearms, 1401 stamina, 1401 electronics, with 4% critical hit chance. And now for the weapon attachments. Our pro red dot sight has 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, 6% headshot damage, along with our extended magazine, which has 116.50% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, and 5.40% rate of fire. Our small red grip has 19% critical hit damage, 5% reload speed, 5% optimal range, whereas our loud vent break has 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 5.50% headshot damage. For our custom M44, our pro red dot sight has 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, 6% headshot damage. Our extended magazine has 121% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, 4.80% rate of fire. Our small red grip has 19% critical hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, 2.50% stability. This gun does get a little bit unstable sometimes, so I kind of do recommend the stability on that portion. And then we have 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and I would prefer headshot damage in place of optimal range, but this is my only other loud vent break. So what you would be looking for on here is critical hit damage, headshot damage, and critical hit chance. But this is what I've been using, the optimal range, so obviously it does work well even without the headshot damage. Now, moving on to our abilities tab, we have a booster shot, which really doesn't heal us much at all, it's just to raise our damage. Now if we take a look at the base weapon damage on our bullfrog, it's sitting at 22, 22k, but it says plus 2,947. So really, that's 24k weapon damage, almost 25k, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit our booster shot, which you can see gave us a pretty decent overheal. And instead of 25k weapon damage, we now have the almost 25k base along with the 2,900 on top of it. That is almost 28k weapon damage just from hitting your booster. Now we also have an immunizer just in case Pred comes along or if we just need a second heal entirely. 
And moving on into the talents, again, I normally run this with a group. So I'll have critical save, I'll make sure I have combat medic, I'll make sure I have triage on just to help out if we do have a healer, which we normally do. And then we have on the move. Now, jumping over into our character tab, we have the bullfrog at 24, almost 25k weapon damage. Our critical hit chance is at 23%, our critical hit damage is 130%. We have 87% headshot damage, we have 0% accuracy and stability, just so that the third weapon talent, Uncomplicated, works. It gives us an extra um, fair amount of damage for having no accuracy or stability mods equipped, and we have met those standards, so we get that extra damage. We have 15% all weapons damage bonus, we have 12% assault rifle damage. We have 30% enemy armor damage. 0% skill haste, so you have to kind of keep an eye out on your skills, kind of alternate them so that way you at least have a heal all the time. Our toughness is at 395k, which is normally fine because we have an overheal. Now, I would not run this if I just did not have an overheal at all. That would be a little bit too squishy for my liking, but it really just depends on how you prefer to play as your own person. Now, we have 263k health. We have 33.50% armor mitigation. And then, of course, we have our blind death resistance, which really should not exist. Then we have 50% burn resistance, which should be a little bit higher, but I am missing that burn resistance on the mask. Disorient resistance really isn't important. Disrupt resistance could be pretty good. That'd be, that could definitely be something you could spec into. And then shock resistance. Definitely. Shock turrets are out in full force, you guys. Come on, stay safe. And that pretty much concludes this. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate all of y'all's support to help me with this channel. Please don't forget to turn that notification bell, and well, as usual, you guys, I will catch all of you next time. Bye, everyone!